thank god for yet another day to spend time with him another day to commune with him i want us to take a short exercise and that is i want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad i want you to help us share this good news and that youtube will also recommend this channel this video to others and they will also be a blessing also let's take a short reading from job chapter 38 verses 12 Saints, has thou commanded the morning since thy days and then caused the day spring to know its place now this tells us of the great opportunities of the great blessings we enjoy as children of god when we speak into our day and so it is what we are about to do open your heart be alert prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of god apostle joshua selman also if you are new here hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell keep sharing this message abroad keep sharing on facebook keep sharing on youtube to invite others to join us as we bless the world you are a blessing thank you and among the many things that we do when we are gathered like this is to experience the life the power and the grace of jesus the faith life is not a life that is full of lectures alone it's not a life that is full of teachings there is the theological communication of truth but there is a gospel that is demonstrated by the power of the holy spirit so that men and women are able to experience jesus in a very real way only god knows how many people seated here scattered inside and outside with myriads of problems challenges and all together we have come gathered reminds me of what the bible said that all the city were gathered at the door waiting we have called people to come we have told them jesus heals we have told them he delivers we've spoken so well about him but the gospel that cannot be demonstrated is a reproach to the name of jesus and so i'm trusting that in addition to all the miracles and the signs and the wonders that among the many things that will happen let tonight be a night of impartation where we not only celebrate the wonder working hand of god but that we carry something that we can take back to receive it says as many as receive him anything that is worthy of reception can be rejected and maybe this is a word of caution for men of god when people receive us we must be grateful it's one thing to be anointed but history is full of anointed people that territories rejected them so we do not take lightly every time we are received it is proof that he sent us but it is also proof that we were sent to those who have received us are you ready for tonight father give me an encounter please lift your voice lift your hands to heaven outside let me experience the ministry of the spirit in another dimension Holy, holy, blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Holy, holy, blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Hosanna, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Hosanna, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of Hello, Madonna. Hello, Madonna. Hello, Madonna. Hello, Madonna. Hello, 
worthy to open the book and unlock the scrolls and the elder tapped me and said weep not the lion of the tribe of Judah the root of David we have come because the book is open I represent the lion I represent the lamb I represent the lion I represent the Lamb I speak for the Lion I speak for the Lamb I speak for the Lion Speak for the Lamb Shalabalakata brandegele baladiyah Bless him, his glory is here. Majesty, we bless you. Don't be tired. This is part of the meeting. Ebo is lifting up the name of Jesus. Awesome God. How great thou art. You are mighty are your name. Send me all of your home, Lord. We bow, oh, Lord. You reign forever, Lord. You reign forever. I will. 
worship him oh give him that praise pour your heart like a drink offering lord you reign But I want you to sing me that song. And I see hallelujah. And I see hallelujah. Help me. Jehovah. standing I want to start tonight miracle service with an altar call the messages have been in the songs there are people here scattered within this theater there are some of you scattered outside in the overflows listening to me scattered all across the cast stands there are many following online you just sang that you come to the father only through jesus the bible says there is no other name under heaven given to man by which we must be saved listen carefully there are many of you you've been here from the beginning of this conference and the holy ghost has been speaking to you the foundation of a believer's journey is acknowledging the lordship of jesus now, this is not some emotional thing. There are two categories of people. There are those of you who have never made Jesus Lord of your life. You've been around church. You are saying, I am tired of my life. It's time to be serious with God. 
now those outside because of space we may not allow you come in but you will move to your projector screen for those inside you are inside here you are out you know the holy ghost is speaking to you i will count one to five run like there's fire on the mountain and come and stand here one two i have decided to follow jesus no turning back no turning back run to jesus i have decided to follow jesus no Ask me not, O oh gentle Savior, hear my humble cry. Keep coming. While on others thou art calling, do not pass me by. Savior, 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 hear my why on others thou art calling do not pass me back Jesus is able to give you a new beginning it doesn't matter how things have been is the son of the living God in Jesus name we must never ignore the need to draw men to Jesus From me nearer, nearer to thee. From me nearer, nearer to thee. My song every day, Father, draw me nearer. Draw me nearer. Bible declares that as many who come to him he will in no wise cast away so I salute you these ones who are here in front the many who are just in front of the projector screen outside whoever will come to him he will in no wise cast away lift your right hand to Jesus the head of the church and I want you to say this after me say it loud and clear those outside lifting your hands whether you are at the back whether you are even outside the road provided you can hear and you who are following from whatever nation you're following from any region across the world provided you can hear you make this decision also say lord jesus i love you with all my heart Tonight, I declare that I am unable to help myself. Therefore, I ask you to help me. I receive the life of God within me. I receive the abundance of grace, the gift of righteousness. And I declare that I reign in life from today and forever i am a child of god jesus is my lord my savior my king i also declare that the power of sin the power of the grave the power of satan is broken over my life from today I walk in newness of life I walk in victory forward ever 
and backward never in jesus name congratulations 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 now thank you all of you who are here i want you to just do me a favor in one minute someone will be waving his hands whoever please wave your hands so they'll see you there is a gentleman waving his hands all of you will just follow that gentleman in concert there should be someone waving his hands outside if there is please those uh, who made the altar call outside just follow that person they will lead you to a group of counselors please be very fast with them so they can come and join the miracle service you are mighty in this place you are mighty in this place You are mighty in this place. You're the faithful God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You do wonders in our midst. You do wonders in our midst. Faithful God, Hallelujah, You're the faithful God. Don't be tired, Hallelujah. Unchangeable God, changeable, unchangeable God, unchangeable God, unchangeable, unchangeable God, reliable God, reliable God, reliable God. Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 20. Please be seated. 1 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 20. We began to talk about kingdom advance and we've been considering I will build my church for a topic and um, please do well if you've not been here you can get the teachings audio and video you can find them online so that you listen and understand what we have been dealing with we've been examining the body of christ the spiritual architecture of the construction of the body of christ jesus himself said i will build my church and if allowed to build it so i will build it it will be so formidable that the gates of hell will not be able to prevail against it hallelujah we examine three major errors in the body of christ the error of apostasy deviation from the known patterns of god the error of indifference and selfishness the error of imbalance are we together now and i said that all these three challenges are children that came out of the same mother the mother being lack of discipleship discipleship is the spiritual strategy designed to mature the saints and the cost content for the build up of believers is called doctrine doctrine is the authorized cost content for the maturity of the believers and any other thing that is outside of the exegesis of sound doctrine will lead to a lopsided believer we did observe 
that one of the reasons why we have all kinds of imbalances and a plethora of ills across the body is because we are largely teaching opinions or personalized dealings that may only be applicable to a person or an individual hallelujah very very important to understand this and this morning at the morning session which doubled as a pastor's conference we began to explore the fact that men are the spiritual conduits that are sent by God to mature believers God is the builder of the church but he uses gifts called men to bless men so he sends men to men are we together and we began to examine a few spiritual requirements for the kind of man in this end time that God will use to mentor to build to guide and disciple nations number one we said you must have a hunger a desperation and a love for God that is beyond ministry you must love God beyond fasting beyond prayer your motive must be purged must be purified there must be only one motive one drive Jesus revealed Jesus glorified that everything outside of that becomes a corruption your motive and a false inspiration to the activities that you do no matter how right no matter how correct are we together number two that you must submit yourself to accurate spiritual understanding Colossians 1 verse 9 Paul was mentoring the church in Colossae and he began to pray to the father of our Lord Jesus Christ to grant them three dimensions of spiritual knowledge number one that they will be filled with the knowledge of his will number two that they will be filled in all dimensions of wisdom and then number three that they will be filled with spiritual understanding praise the Lord I'm praying tonight that we'll be able to work with the media media the Lord help us all together in Jesus name so that when it's time to project we can do that fast and on time hallelujah and then number three the third requirement is that we must trust God to our own personal transformation to be models territorial transformation is difficult until there are sufficient models men and women who model the dimensions we seek for the body to come into are we together oftentimes God will refer men to men who understudy their lives as a reference Abraham for instance is God's idea of walking in the blessing so every time you seek to walk in the blessing he refers you to a personality called Abraham look unto Abraham your father he says and to Sarah that body for I called him and I blessed him and I increased him so if you want God's idea of prosperity there is an individual who personifies it are we together now there is an individual who personifies hunger that leads to encounters is the man called Jacob so when you want to seek God passionately and acceptably he refers you to a model Genesis 28 Genesis 32 Psalm 24 this is the generation of them that seek thee oh Jacob so if I need to encounter God how do I press for him so that I don't get into occultism I don't get into all kinds of demonic things you use the model of the man who he has recommended when it has to do with the ministry of accurate prayer that brings territorial transformation there is an individual who models it Elijah the Bible says James chapter 5 when you begin to read from verse 13 it says if any man afflicted let him pray then it says the fervent and effectual prayer of the righteous the Bible declares that it avails much it does not stop there he now says Elijah was a man of like passion that means you follow the pathway and the protocol that Elijah created you will get his kind of result are we together when it has to do with worship there is an individual that personifies genuine worship the woman with the alabaster box Jesus himself commended her more than her approach to worship because the Bible says she brought of a perfume of pure nerd and the Bible says it was a year's wages and broke it not just poured it she broke it at his feet 
and use her hair which is the glory of the woman to wash his feet and jesus said for this act everywhere i am mentioned this woman would not be ignored so you see that territorial transformation cannot happen until there are accurate models accurate references that reflect god's idea there should be a man of god in a boy state that reflects genuine kingdom prosperity without pride and without prejudice so that everybody who wants to prosper god can make reference and say this man you see how blessed he is yet his heart is still inclined to me even as thy soul prospers there must be someone in this city that represents god's idea of accurate administration of the prophetic office so that god is able to make reference you read the bible and they said the church in pergamos the church in philadelphia the church in smyrna the church in ephesus these were lampstands these were models that reflected god's idea until we have individuals that personify god's idea on several aspects of the kingdom it will be difficult to have people corporately transform are we together when we say you are a professor maybe of medicine and surgery or you are a professor of something that man is a model within that city or within that field every other person who will and should become a professor will have to at one time or the other make reference to him by reason of his standing he knows the protocol and the observables the things that must be observed to be able to earn that title this is how it must be there must be men and women who model accurate apostolic ministry there must be men and women who model accurate intercessory ministry once we find all kinds of opinions 10 prophets that look like 10 different people 10 apostles that look like 10 different people 10 evangelists that look like 10 different people it becomes difficult for the younger generation to find worthy references we may not all be the same but foundationally if it is one lord and one faith and one baptism there must be similarity are we together so we preserve the heritage of the workings of god in this land by having sufficient models sufficient models there must be men and women who become models of excellence in governance some of you here probably are politicians you can trust god for grace to be an excellent model that by the time you are done in office whatever capacity you serve people can make reference to you and say when we are talking about quality leadership and a disciplined a disciplined individual we can make reference to this some of you can model excellence say in the academics so that the younger generation can find a reference that men can be sound they can have very exceptional levels of intellectual prowess and yet they can be godly and they can be powerful are we together praise the name of the lord but let's go to our text tonight chapter 4 and verse 20 first corinthians first corinthians for the kingdom of god the manifestation of kingdom of the kingdom of god is not in word but in power this is a kingdom of power this is not just a kingdom of speech and speaking and theoretical communications the god that we serve is a god whose love can be proven the God that we serve is a God whose words can be proven. The God that we serve is a God whose power can be proven. And for as long as our Christian experience stops at the realm of just communication alone, as powerful as that is, there will be a big deficiency as far as the accurate representation of God is concerned. There must be a dimension of God's power that will be allowed to be revealed 
territorially speaking and when i talk about the power of god i'm not just talking of falling down and standing up i'm talking of lives transformed by reason of the administration of spiritual power the forces that tie the destinies of men down are we together that there is no week where there is no notable manifestation of god's power in this city while you're trying to manage to manage one testimony by the next week another one has come to the point that god becomes a discussion everywhere whether in the beer parlor whether in the school you institutionalize and you plan god consciousness in the hearts of the people our generation today is not a generation of stories our generation is a generation of proofs people want to see that something works when you tell me that this is a phone this is a gadget most people who ask you give me guarantee if it does not work i will return your gadget and you will return my money back this is not the generation that will blindly follow for nothing with no results no there is a hungry and a thirsty people the sick want to know that god heals the oppressed want to know that god delivers the lost want to know that god saves the downtrodden want to know that god lifts the backsliding want to know that god restores and this is our assignment that whilst we go around the nations of the earth revealing jesus there must be proof that he's alive that is what it means to be called a witness john chapter 1 from verse 6 and 7 there was a man sent from god not sent from the east men of god hear me it is true that territorially speaking you come from the east but you come from god you only pass through the east there was a man your origin cannot stop at the womb of a woman it must go right to abba the source and the sustainer of all things there was a man sent from god john 1 from verse 6 to 7 the bible says his name was john then the next verse says the same came for a witness that he may bear witness to the truth that through him through his witness now all men might believe through the witness of the men and the women in this city through the witness of the believers in this city all men might believe are we together matthew chapter 10 we'll read verse 1 then we'll jump to verse 7 matthew chapter 10 having mentored the disciples for a while it was time for jesus to test run and find out the efficiency to find out whether they were really getting the things that he was teaching them chapter 10 and verse 1 and when he had called unto himself the 12 disciples he gave them power someone shout power wow so power can be given and you can collect it and know you have collected something you did not once have listen to me just because it is intangible does not mean it is unreal power is transferable he gave them power if i give you one thousand naira you hold one thousand naira that you did not have you can know you have it power is a commodity in the spirit that can be given a man can hold it knowing i did not have this yesterday but i have it now he gave them power please keep that scripture there against unclean spirits you know what that means the power was designed to sit quietly when it finds everything that supports god but the moment it finds anything that does not support god immediately the power was auto designed to not rest anytime it sees what is not god so provided it finds the purposes and the patterns of god in place the power will just be silent as if it's not there but when it finds evil when he finds the presence of spirits power against unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal all manner of sickness and all manner of disease 
a disease is any condition that creates discomfort it's not just bodily ailment poverty is a disease ignorance is a disease is that true power to heal disease do you know that the spirit of revelation is power to heal disease the disease of ignorance verse 7 same chapter Matthew 10 7 and as ye go a boy in state as you go declare saying the influence the culture of heaven is now within your territory next verse but don't just speak alone because men will not believe you so prove the reality of that kingdom by healing the sick prove the reality of that kingdom by cleansing the lepers prove the reality of that kingdom by raising the dead prove the reality of that kingdom by casting out devils and here's what he says don't miss the power you received it free be lavish in dispensing that power freely you have received freely give This is very powerful. Savior, He can move a mountain. My God is mighty to save. You are mighty to save forever. The offer of salvation. He rose and conquered the grave. Jesus conquered the grave one is a message is a song but while you are saying it the oppressed are just listening to you speaking special number until they watch a spirit that has tied a family for 10 years for 20 years if that spirit responds to your song then you are powerful savior he can move the mountains hold on there are many mountains so there are mountains that stand before families stand before Zerubbabel's they have prayed they have fasted some of them are gathered here tonight hoping the mountain refused to move when your father pushed it until he died the mountain refused to move when your elder ones pushed it but hallelujah you are in this conference tonight there is a God that moves mountains oh yes there is a God that moves mountains my God is mighty to save. Hold on. Because salvation requires more than sincerity. Salvation requires might and power. Salvation requires warding of the forces that keep people down. So you say he is mighty to save. Not just passionate to save. Heroes and conquer the grave Jesus conquer the grave he rose and conquer the grave he conquer the grave he rose and conquer my shame he conquer my shame he conquer my pain he conquer my pain he conquer my, my shame Savior, He can move a mountain. My God is mighty to save. Forever, the offer of salvation. Look up. The grave is not only where dead people are kept. The grave is where dreams are kept. The grave is where visions are kept. The grave is also where Satan can manipulate mantles and hide. Where was Elisha's mantle found? The grave. The grave is what stops transference of graces. Somebody would have carried that grace. 
but someone went to the grave with it so when you said he conquered the grave it's not just resurrection of dead bodies resurrection of dreams oh man of god resurrection of the prophecy the, that you saw when you started ministry that the devil wants to rubbish your reputation as though god did not call you hear me there are some of you seated here you are sincerely called but there are forces that have sat on your oil that your voice will not speak and it looks as though god did not call you no increase no growth no impact he rose and conquered the grave he conquered the grave he rose and conquered the grave hey, hey. He rose and conquered the grave. Prophesy to yourself. He rose and conquered the grave. Hear me. The Bible says, Go weeping and just for a night. Provided you are around darkness, tears will not stop. When God wants to lift you, He will turn your night to day. It says, Jacob wrestled with Him in the night and he says leave me for the day break it he said i will not let you go until you bless me then he says what is your name he says jacob a cheat and a supplanter he says thou shall no longer be called jacob but israel for as a prince you have had power with god and prevailed the bible says he touched the whole of his thigh he blessed him the sun arose and he called the name peniel the face of god i have seen god face to face he says and my life is preserved someone pray turn my night today turn it into a prayer turn my night in ministry turn my night in this city triumphant over the grave Turn my night today in the name of Jesus the Christ of God. Hallelujah. Now please look at me. I'm about to pray shortly. Please look at me. Whilst it is true that we do not serve God just for miracles, we do not serve God and we do not love God and we do not seek God just for signs, wonders, prosperity, increase. However, in the dealings of God with men, He is benevolent enough to make sure that while you seek Him because you love Him, He will not allow tears and shame hang around you while you seek Him. There is a provision in the economy of God when He can show up as a mighty one and bring deliverance and bring transformation. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. Your deliverer is coming. Your deliverer is standing by. He that told you have asked for nothing. He says, ask that you might receive to the end that your joy may be fulfilled. Listen you don't need results to have joy but you need results to have the fullness of joy acts chapter 8 last scripture and we begin to pray please give us acts chapter 8 from verse 1 i sense the power of god very strongly here now Just help those under the anointing. Let's read from verse 4 for the sake of time. The 
Bible says, therefore, the apostles now, they were scattered abroad and went everywhere preaching the word. Next verse, please. They went preaching the word. Do not forget. We're reading down to verse 8. And then Philip happened to go down to a state just like a boy state. And the Bible says, when he arrived, he preached Christ unto them. Next verse. And the people with one accord, like you are doing, gave heed unto the things which Joshua Selman spake. Hearing and seeing. Everybody say hearing and seeing. If it is the gospel, you don't only hear. You hear and you see. Hearing and seeing the miracles which he did. What were the miracles? Next verse. For unclean spirits, crying with a loud voice, came out of many that were possessed with them, and many that were taken with palsies, and many that came lame were healed. The result, may this be the result in a boy state. Verse 8. And there was great joy. Great joy that the oppressed were he delivered great joy that men of God now contacted new fire great joy that the purposes of the kingdom is now being established listen I'm about to minister to people now I had a vision and in that vision I was carried to a city be sensitive now and when I was in that city it was dark like a curfew you know how a curfew is nobody outside but then I noticed there were a group of people who were scattered around they were very sick very oppressed some of them were at the point of death and I was looking, I was broken, and I was wondering. No doctor, nobody. I was searching around and said, these people cannot die like this. Then I heard the voice of God. And he spoke to me. Go and to heal them and to lift them. And he has honored himself every day, everywhere regardless the condition the Jesus we preach about is not the one who gives testimonies yesterday preachers be careful when all the testimony you give is all oh, one day on the crusade ground no bring a Jesus for us here that we can prove here and now I'm praying that in this conference that God will so lavishly anoint us that the fear as to whether results will happen or not will live your life forever you see mastery is a possibility in the spirit if I meet some of our mothers right now some of the ladies here and I tell them come and prepare swallow for us because you have done it so many times and you know what to do you will not be afraid you are not embarrassed and I, no 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 all you need just give me time you must be that certain even in ministry that every time you come you know that god is going to bless i'm not talking of just one headache i'm not belittling miracles are you getting me every miracle is special but you see it is notable miracles that bring glory to the name of the lord because we live in an arrogant world that will that tries to downplay God. So two things will happen tonight. The third has already happened. We are going to allow a holy convocation of his presence in this place. The rider upon the white horse. Let him ride through families. Let him ride through ministries. Let him ride through age-long situations.
and bring all kinds of tearsome miracles and then number two not only that the rider will ride heal and deliver and go away but there will be deposits of ancient graces upon men and women that you will carry supernatural abilities i trust that somewhere in the course of this meeting there will be a real impartation of graces some of you have seen them in dreams some of you are outside you've seen them in vision some of you have even seen these kinds of services in your dreams and visions now is the time for your heart to be open one last prayer and we'll allow the lord to walk triumphantly in this place father every grace i must receive and every challenge that stands before me as an obstacle let it give way now please lift your voice and pray while you are praying begin to prepare your prayer requests please pre prepare your prayer requests so that we'll just do it as one single sweep ushers authorized ushers can begin to move around and if you are here with your prayer request whilst we're praying and whilst the ministration starts do well to just tear it off and pass it whether in the offering basket or whatever it is and if you are yet to write you can write those online very quickly lift your voice and pray we see the rain of your love we feel the wind of your spirit now the heartbeat of heaven let us hear see the rain of your love we feel the wind of your spirit now the heartbeat of heaven let us hear so let it rain let it rain Open the floodgates of heaven. Let it rain. Let it rain. Open the floodgates of The Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing some persons with crutches crutches I don't know whether you are inside or outside if you came with crutches I'm seeing the power of God moving now crutches whether inside or outside lift it and try to walk lift it and try to walk I'm seeing a revelation inside outside lift it and try to walk the miracle walking power of jesus is in this place hallelujah the Lord wants to rebuke I don't know how we'll do it now we'll have two stages look at this look at this lift it up mama my God are you seeing what is happening walk walk Mama, how long has this been? How many years? Six years. Six years. How were you walking before? Show us how you were walking with the crutches. Show us how you were walking with the crutches. Just walk. Let's see how you were walking with the crutches. That's how you were walking with the crutches. 
Now lift it up and walk. Lift it up and walk, mama. Lift it up and walk. My God. My God. Look at there's another miracle here. Lift it up. Lift it up. Look what is happening. Look what is happening. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. Miracles are happening in the boy's sake. I decree and declare everyone on a crutch, inside, outside, lift it up and begin to walk by the power that is in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Mama, how long? Are, who is with the mic? Please help us so that we can. Who is holding the mic? Please be sensitive. This, no, not you. It's a man. Mama, how long has this been? Since 2018. 2018? Yes. How were you walking before? Show us how you were walking with the crutches. This is how you came into this meeting. This is how you came. Now lift it up and walk. In the name of Jesus, this that the Lord has begun, let there be a perfection of this in the name of jesus the lord just opened my eyes there is someone i don't know whether it's your neck you have a problem with you could not move it i don't know whether you are inside or outside check right now the power of god has just touched you check it and run out very quickly please celebrate them as they return miracles happening by the power of the holy ghost in the name of jesus christ in the name of Jesus Christ, perfection over your body. In Jesus' name. Let's celebrate them. Very quickly. We are still praying. No, no, no. Hold on. Hold on. Just, just leave them in the bowls. Please leave them in the bowls first. Because of the wind. Leave them in the bowls. We are praying. Now, I'm going to minister to people. I'm seeing the Lord was speaking about delay. We're about to pray for those outside you may not be able to come inside except if there's a word for you but please those under the anointing outside you will take them to the front of the projector screen i want to pray there are people here who have been victims of delay the power of god is about to come on you please those who are up the balcony be careful don't come to the edges so you don't fall in the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands right now. Ushers, please bring those people out here. In the name that is above all names, every spirit that is causing delay in ministry, in families, I come by the rod of the higher priesthood. At the count of three, may fire fall upon them. One, two, three, take that fire. I break that yoke. I break that yoke. Bring them out. Whether you are an usher or not, help them, please. Whether you are an usher or not, help them. You are the covenant keeping God. You are the covenant keeping God. Yahweh. Jesus delay be broken in the name of Jesus you are yeah. Listen, I'm not just praying for individuals. This grace is coming on families too. Nobody has moved forward. You want to move forward? Help her, please. Shamakata, Ebrakato, Sheles, Kamikata, Reketea. At the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus. As you shout that name, every altar and everything that does not name the name of Christ, it must give way. Are you ready? One, two, three, shout Jesus. Ebrakato, Sheles, Kamikata, Reketea. 
Blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance that spoke against them, he nailed it to his cross. Every foul spirit that is not of God must give way now. Outside, I stretch my hands. Outside, may the fire of the Holy Ghost bring them out to the projector stand outside. Delay. Delay in achievements. Delay in accomplishments. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Be delivered right now. Upon Mount Zion. There shall be deliverance. And even holiness. And the sons of Jacob shall possess their possessions. We are still praying. Look up please and be sensitive. Ha. Hear me. There are horns that have lifted up themselves against ministries, against families. Age long captivity. I want to make a decree in the spirit. Lift up your heads. O ye gates, Shamandakata, ancient gates of ancestry, gates of limitations. One more time you are going to shout Jesus. Any covenant tie you down. Any cause tie you down. It must give way now. Are you ready? One. Two. Three. Shout Jesus. Let them go. Release them. Release them. Help that lady please. Release them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All of you in front here, those in front of the projector screen, those following online, in the name of Jesus, I come by the rod of a higher priesthood. I speak to every spirit that will not let you go. We come as those sent. Right now, release them and release their families. At the count of three, go, go, go. Release them, release their families in the mighty name of Jesus. Release their families. Release their destinies. Hallelujah. Who is Ogechuku? Ogechuku. I'm hearing the name Ogechuku. You are wearing black. Ogechuku. Please, who is that person? Okay, Chuku. Oh. There is still a gentleman I'm seeing. Your, your dress is shorthand like my own. Okay, Chuku. Who is that? What's, please, let's very... Do we have the mic? Is it working? Help them, please. What's your name? Okay, Chuku. Okay, Chuku. How about you? I saw a lady who lifting her hand. What's your name? Is that your name? Okay, both male and female can bear it. I want to pray. Oh. I'm hearing a name, author, like author, A-R-T-U-R, -R, or something like that. Author. Also, is that someone's name? 
where is that person please quickly let's just save time the Lord wants to move in a mighty way right now in this place I want to pray for you what do you do huh? business what business provision business provision yes, I want to pray for you yes sir. there is a grace for wealth that is coming on you amen you believe it yes sir that's what I'm here what do you do what well, I'm seeing you inside a farm farming a what farmer. do you do I'm a farmer sir you are a, a farmer you are a farmer yes sir I hope you know him before you now come and say you are faking farmer. it not everybody is faking this thing oh there are people who have paid their price with God let me I think I, I need to clarify it now so that you don't think that maybe everybody is um, my friend I want to pray for you the way God will lift you using agriculture stand up it will surprise you Amen. in the Amen. name of Jesus Christ Amen. I stretch my hands towards you may grace come on you in the name of Jesus supernatural grace you go back and you experience empowerment in unusual dimensions in the name of Jesus for my dear brother in business I pray for you Amen. God will show you mercy Amen. you will experience increase Amen. in Jesus name Amen. my dear where is your dad he's late I need to pray for you because I'm seeing the same thing that happened to him wanting to happen to someone in your family I'm not a prophet of doom I want to pray for you where is mama she's in Ebony but she's not here we have to pray every manifestation of death that is looking for your mom i'm not i'm not a prophet of doom in the name of jesus we cancel it right now i use this as a prayer for anybody here if the spirit of death is eyeing anybody's family in the name that is above all names we scatter that operation now my dear your family members are preserved in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Shame and reproach is taken away. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. The Lord is showing me a vision and there's somebody you are holding photos on your hand. I don't know who that person is. Come. Picture. So, I'm, I'm, the Lord is showing me someone. Now I need to pray for the person. We have to be fast because I want to pray for the sick. Miracle working God is at work. Where are you coming from, my friend? From Benway State, sir. From Benway State. You came from Benway? No. Yes, sir. Whose photo are you holding? It's my wife, sir. What's wrong with her? She was attacked two weeks back. I rushed her to the hospital and God revived her. I need to pray. Do you know what we call Aleku? A L E K U. Yes, sir. This is like, huh? It's a deity, sir. It's a what? A deity. That's why I'm saying we have to pray. Blotting out every handwriting, the Bible says, and Amen. every ordinance that spoke against us, Amen. he nailed it to his cross. Amen. Every covenant you and your wife has with any deity other than Christ, we curse it right now. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. There is a woman here. You've been married four years. No child. I'm hearing the sound of a child. Four years. Who is that person? Four years. Please don't just come out because you are looking for a child. Hear the specific word. Four years. Is there someone like that? Run. It's time for your shame to be rolled away. What's your name? Hold on, please. Hold on. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. What's your name? Nkiru. Huh? Nkiru. What's her name? Nkiru. There's an English name. Juliet. Juliet. This is what I'm hearing. Look at me. Stand up. How long have you been married? Four years. Four years. Is your husband here? No. <laughs> I'm praying for you in the open because by this time next year you are coming back home with a testimony. Mama. 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 I stretch my hands in the name of Jesus. Mama. Everything that represents barrenness. Let her come too. What's your name? Divine. 
Hold on. Is your husband here? Yes, he's outside. That's why, husband, come. The husband of divine. What's your name? Divine Inima. Come. Where is the? Please, let's hurry up. Let's save time. Is the man here? Hallelujah. You have won the victory. Hallelujah. You have won it all for me. Death could not hold you down. Let me just pray for you. We may not be able to wait for our brother to come. My dear, look at me. Regardless what the situation is, Jesus is Lord. Don't be embarrassed. We're a family. Are we together now? Place your hand on your stomach. In the name of Jesus, Amen. God who is the giver of children, the God of Hannah, arise in power. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You're welcome, sir. Thank you. Thank you for coming. I really appreciate you. What do you do, sir? You're a banker. Yes. Are you a banker? Yes, sir. What do you do? I'm a banker. What First bank? bank? First bank. Yes, sir. What bank? First bank. I want to pray for you because I'm seeing God lifting you. A very strange lifting. I don't know what it is, but I'm seeing you abroad and then coming back and then going back and then coming back. This is what I'm seeing. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands. I declare by the spirit of grace, carry your children and take your increase. By the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ my sister look at me in the name of Jesus shame and reproach is rolled from your life don't be embarrassed but what is in your stomach now that is stopping a child you understand what I'm saying I take it out of that stomach now Do you know what I'm you know what I'm talking yes, about yes. because the doctor told you what he said is right but in the name of Jesus we decree and declare a miracle Amen. right now Amen. hallelujah God bless you please return to your seat very quickly I pray for you hold on please who is this it for me from London that I should go for this program. I should go intercede for her. She, uh, the, the baby is an autism patient. We have to pray. Yeah. They sent it from London. Yes. That sir. you should bring it for this yes, program. Yes. I actually told the mom that I'm here already. She was the one that asked me to come and present Father, it before the Lord. Let there be a miracle for this our son. Supernatural healing. Amen. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Bring. There is one lady and one guy. Two of them will shout loud under the anointing now. Please carry two of them and bring here. Very loud shout to the hearing of everybody. Please bring them out. There's a reason why God is. You can go back to your seat. God bless you. Who is this? He's missing. It's my brother. He's missing? Yes, sir. Your brother? Yes, sir. Or your husband? My younger brother. Your younger brother, how yes, long? It's, it's about three, three weeks now. Three weeks? Yes, sir. He told you he's missing? Yes, sir. He's missing. Huh? Yes, sir. Did anybody call you? He's having mental challenges. Huh? He's having mental, mental challenges, so he's missing. I don't know where he is. No, he's alive. Something came on him and he started walking. This boy is somewhere. He's still within the city. In the name of Jesus, we call him back by the power of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name, I pray. But don't worry, I will pray over this. I'm just responding to what God has said. Where is the gentleman and where is he? In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Ghost. Young man, I pray for you. Oppression over your family. It comes to an end now.
be delivered now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Eugene, Eugene, I'm hearing a name Eugene, like E U G, Eugene. Before I pray for the sick, is there someone with that name inside, outside? Your name is Eugene. Let me just pray for you very quickly. I'm hearing the name Eugene. If you're following online, you can indicate you're following online. If you're in the overflow, you can indicate quickly. Otherwise, we'll just have to rush and then go. I want to pray for the sick now. We serve a mighty God. There's someone with such a name. What's his name? What's your name, sir? Eugene. I will pray for you but this is not the person I'm seeing in the spirit but I will pray either way because you have come what do you do sir I'm a pastor in the name of Jesus may the Lord prosper the work he has given you I pray by the power of the Holy Spirit that God will open the eyes of your spirit and the eyes of your heart that you will comprehend even with in greater dimensions the things of the spirit and the mercy of the lord speak for you and your work Amen. in jesus name i pray Amen. god bless you but if there's no the eugene i'm seeing i don't know if you are this is like a female this is not i'm not seeing a male i'm seeing a female but we're going to pray how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. I'm seeing the name of a church. Something, is it, there is Christ and there's missions in it. Something, Christ, missions. Something, is there someone like that with a name? I know there is Christ, there is missions. You are here. I don't know the name I didn't get the name accurately but let me know the name because I want to pray for you huh? there is mission What's divine grace Christ based mission international that's your church Christ intimacy Christ intimacy ah, I will pray for you it is your church yeah divine grace price based mission international very sincere man but i want to pray for you i just saw the name you believe in impartation sir sure impartation is a transference of graces sure. the name of jesus i stretch my hands towards you and i declare may the anointing of the holy spirit the grace for signs the grace for wonders may that grace rest on you now take that grace in the name of jesus who is the christ of god you will never be the same in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing four ministers of the gospel four of you here there is a very strong healing anointing that is coming on you right now as i speak four. i will pray for everyone but i'm seeing four people the power of God will come on you, four of you. You don't have to bring them out. Let's honor them. We don't have to drag them out. Four of them. Spirit of the living God, four of you. Like the dew of heaven, such a heavy unction coming on you right now. In the name of Jesus, may that grace rest upon you. Rest upon your ministry. Help them, please. In the name of God, my God, please help them so they don't injure themselves. Help this lady. Salagadabrende Gediba has Sida Balakatusia. Hallelujah. Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins, incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof 
if you attend to these words as well, that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart, that no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.